Dear child of God, the Lord is saying to you today that you will call upon him and he would answer you. He's saying to you that he will be with you in the place of trouble. He's saying to you he will deliver you out of that trouble and he would make sure he brings honor to your life. Dear child of God, it seems as though for a long time you have experienced troubles, you have experienced challenges, you have been fought against and you are wondering when would it come to an end? You are asking God when? When would I enjoy my peace? You are asking the Lord when? When would all of these issues come to an end? The word of God in Psalm 34 have said that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God will deliver him. God will deliver the righteous. God will deliver his people out of all the troubles. Dear child of God, I want you to know today that the deliverance of God is coming. Yes, you are going upon Mount Zion where there is deliverance and you shall possess all of your possessions, everything that are yours, everything that are meant for you, everything meant for your family. You will possess them in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, you would have reasons to rejoice. You would have reasons to dance. You would have reasons to celebrate because God is settling you. He says you will call. You will call upon him and he would answer and he will show you great things. He will show you mighty things that you know not of. Why don't you call God today and say, Oh Lord, you see these troubles facing my life. Why don't you call God today and say, Oh Lord, you promised to answer me when I call. Why don't you call God today and say, Oh Lord, you promised to settle me and do me well. Look at the troubles. Look at the situations. Look at the challenges that I'm faced with. And please, come deliver me. He said, I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. He has promised to be with you. He said he will be with you to the ends of the earth. He said he will not leave you. He said he will not forsake you. He said he will be there with you. He will be your rod. He will be your staff. And he will comfort you. He will lead you to the place of rest. He will lead you to the place of safety. He will take you to the place where your blessings are located. And he would make sure all of these troubles. He would make sure all of these pains. He would make sure all of these situations facing your life are over past. Dear child of God, I want you to know that God is going to keep you alive. I want you to know that when the troubles are surrounding you, God will make sure that they are dissolved. God will make sure that they are taking off your life. God will make sure that they are not weighing you down. God will make sure that they do not destroy you. He said many are the afflictions, but it delivers him from them all. It doesn't matter what the enemies have been throwing at you. Dear child of God, it doesn't matter what the people against you have been doing. None of them would be able to succeed against you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are more than an overcomer, dear child of God. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a victor, and you will live an overcomer's life. In the mighty name of Jesus, he said, you keep me alive when there is trouble all around me. When my enemy is angry, you fight against him. You save me with your right hand. Psalms 138 verse 7. He said, when the enemies were angry against me, fighting against me, he said, you saved me with your right hand. Dear child of God, you see the mighty hand of God. Yes. The right hand of God that is power, that is strength and sustenance will keep you, will sustain you and will save you in the mighty name of Jesus. They wanted you destroyed, but they have failed. They wanted you destroyed, but they would all be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, God, you keep me alive. Yes, the life of David was in danger. Times and times again, his life was threatened. Times and times again he was faced with death. And in all of this occasion, God delivered him. And then he will be able to say to God, You kept me alive. You took me out of the troubles, out of the pains that was supposed to consume me, the things that were supposed to destroy my life. You took me out of them. Dear child of God, I want you to know that these would also be your testimony. You look around you 
seeing the things that God have done, and you would be able to say, you have kept me alive. You would be able to say, you have delivered me. You would be able to say, you have showed me your goodness and your love. You would be able to say, you have saved me and kept me alive. He says, when there is trouble all around me, you stood by me, you defended me, you helped me, you preserved me. When the enemies came to destroy my home, you stood by me, you helped me. When the enemies came and made sure I was afflicted, you stood by me and you helped me. When sicknesses almost brought me down, you stood by me and you helped me. When it seemed as though my business was crashing down and I did not know where to turn to, you stood by me and you helped me. When my life was almost cut short, you stood by me and you helped me. Dear child of God, this will be your testimony. Every day you would be able to say, God, you have stood by me and you have been my help. You see in Psalms 46 verse 1, it says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. In the face of that trouble, I want you to know that God is present. In the face of that pain and affliction, I want you to know that God is present. And there is something you must understand today. Those situations are meant to make you stronger. God will not allow them to destroy you. He said he will not allow more than you can bear. And if it comes around you, it means he has given you the abilities. He has given you the strength to be sustained. He's going to send you his help. He said he will send you help from his sanctuary. And it will grant you support from Zion. Dear child of God, be in expectation because God is sending you help. God is going to bring that support to you and it would make sure that the desires of your heart will be granted. It would make sure that you will succeed. Yes, in all of your plans, you would make headway and the enemies will fail. Yes, everyone that planned evil against your life, Everyone that had planned to destroy you, everyone that have stood against you, saying that you would not see success, saying that you would not see progress in your life, God will arise against each and every one of them and he will fight for you. He said we will shout for joy when you are victorious and will lift up our banner in the name of our God. In Psalms chapter 20, dear child of God, you would have reasons to shout for joy. You would have reasons to sing to the praises of God because God have done his mighty wonders, because God have shown himself, God have shown his strange act towards your life and towards your family. And you have seen the marvelous strength of God made known and made visible unto you. Dear child of God, you are more than an overcomer because God is with you, because God is fighting for you, and God will deliver you. The word of God in Psalms 41 verse 1 says, Blessed is he that considereth the poor. He says the Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. God has seen all the things that you have done, and this is why he is reminding you, dear child of God, that he would deliver you. He would make sure that you are safe. He would make sure you are preserved. He will make sure your life is not cut short in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You would have reasons to rejoice, dear child of God. You would have reasons to dance. You would have reasons to celebrate because God has been with you, because God has stood with you, and God has not allowed the plans of the enemies to succeed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the plans of the enemies May the wishes of the enemies not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing they wanted to do against you would ever succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. God will watch over you. God will watch everything that concerns you. He would watch over your family. He would watch over your businesses. He would watch over your household. And He will give you victories all the way in the mighty name of Jesus. Look to him every day and say to him, Lord, you are my rock. Lord, you are my shield. Lord, you are my protector. Lord, you are our fortress. Lord, you are the God that said you will keep us alive. Keep us alive. 
keep my family alive, keep my household alive. Everything that concerns me, I live in your hands. Lord, preserve and make sure that we are victorious all the way. And dear child of God, I want you to know that you would have a great testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.